वेलकम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट हैरल ब्लूम एज अ टाइटल सजेस्ट हैरल ब्लूम इज सम वन होम आई कंसिडर यू मस्ट स्टार्ट स्टडिंग लिटरेचर विथ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर कैन बी बेटर अंडरस्टूड थ्रू द आईज ऑफ हैरल ब्लूम हिज वे हिज प्रस्पेक्टिव हिज वे ऑफ लुकिंग इन टू थिंग्स आर सो ब्यूटिफुल एंड सो ओरिजिनल that you will really really understand english literature in a better way if you start studying literature with harold bloom rather with whatever he has written down or said so without wasting any more time let's know some facts about harold bloom today there are uh, all together 26 facts that i will discuss today there are many more things in details i will be discussing about harold bloom that is very necessary so here we go harold bloom was born on 11th of july 1930 and died on 14th of october 2019 so when was harold bloom born he was born on 11th of july 1930 and died on 14th of october 2019 He was an American literary critic and Sterling Professor of Humanities at Yale University. Now you must be confused or some some of you might know but still I will say because I am teaching you everything. Here I say that he was an American literary critic and a Sterling Professor of Humanities at Yale University. Now what is the meaning of Sterling? Sterling professor is the highest academic rank at Yale University. It is awarded to a tenured faculty member who is best at his field. So now you can understand that Harold Bloom was one of the best at his field. So he was an American literary critic and a Sterling professor of humanities at Yale University. Bloom was described as probably the most famous literary critic in English speaking world. Bloom was described as probably the most famous literary critic in the English speaking world. He published his first book in 1959. So when did he publish his first book? 1959. Bloom has written more than 50 books. So how many books in total did Bloom write? 50 books. Among them 40 books of literary criticism. Several books discussed religion and only one novel. So what did we understand that he has published his first book in 1959? Bloom has written more than 50 books among them 40 books were of literary criticism several books discussed religion and he has written only one novel he was a defender of the traditional western canon at a time when literary departments were focusing on what he derided as the school of resentment the the school of resentment what he derided or he neglected or he criticized were considered as the multiculturalist feminist marxist and many others so which were the school of resentments they were the multiculturalist feminist marxist and many others so we understand that he was a defender of the traditional can at a time when literary departments were focusing on what he derided as the school of resentment so what is that means in the school of resentment what are the culture what are the things that are there in school of resentment that he considers the multiculturalist feminist marxist and many others let's move forward so when he was a boy he read hart crane's collected poem we all know hart crane is a poet and uh, he while he was a boy he read hart crane's collected poems 
this was the collection that inspired his lifelong fascination for poems. So, what inspired Harold Bloom's lifelong fascination for poems? It was his reading of Hart Crenn's collected poems in his boyhood. Bloom was a stu standout student at Yale. So now we know that Bloom was a standout student at Yale where he clashed with the faculty of new critics including William K. Wimsett. So whom did he clash with? It was the faculty of new critics including William K. Wimsett. Many years later, Bloom dedicated his book, remember his famous book, Anxiety of Influence to William K. Wimsett. So the one whom he had clashed with when he was a student, he dedicated a book the, in Anxiety of Influence to William K. Wimsett. Bloom was a member of the Yale English Department from 1955 to 2019. Bloom was a member of the Yale English Department from 1955 to 2019. Teaching to his final batch four days before his death. So he taught to his final batch at the college at the university four days before his death. He was fond of endearments. Endearments means the way of... Uh, you the way you address a people okay like dear loving and caring attitudes of your like, addressing people he was fond of endearments means a person who considers everyone as a dear one bloom would address both male and female student and friend as my dear harold bloom denied being atheist he said, no, no, I'm not an atheist. It's no fun being an atheist. So what did Harold Bloom say? Harold Bloom denied being an atheist. He said, no, no, I'm not an atheist. It's no fun being an atheist. Bloom was defender of romanticism. So Bloom supported romanticism. You can see the picture in my cover photo that of Harold Bloom there he is keeping his hand on some books okay I'll, I'll give the picture out here wait look you can see the books that he is keeping his hand on are the books of mostly the romantic poets or the essays in the romantic period the first and the last book is of Wordsworth and the last book is of Coleridge so from the picture itself you can understand how greatly he was influenced by them. He was a defender of the Romantic poets. So, Bloom was defender of Romanticism. He started his career with a sequence of highly regarded monographs, a detailed written study of a single specialized subject or an aspect of it. So, what is monograph? A detailed written study of a single specialized subject or an aspect of it. Bloom was a defender of the Romanticism. He started his career with a sequence of highly regarded monographs. Now you know what a monograph is. It is a detailed written study of a single specialized subject or an aspect of it. On whom did he start with? On Percy Bysshe Shelley, P.B. Shelley. Shelley's myth making it's his doctoral dissertation at Yale University so what's Bloom's doctoral dissertation at Yale University he sorry Yale University it is Percy Bysshe Shelley's Shelley's myth making then he wrote William Blake's Blake's Apocalypse W.B. Yeats Yeats and Wallace Stevens Wallace Stevens the poem of our climate Let's move on. In all this, he defended high romantics against neoclassicists. You all know what a neoclassicist. You can 
read it in your guidebooks or everywhere you, or you can search on the internet about neoclassicism you will understand the augustan period okay 17th 18th centuries okay so what did we did we get to know is that in all this he defended high romantics against neoclassicist after a personal crisis during the late 1960s bloom became deeply interested in ralph waldo emerson who is ralph waldo emerson the transcendentalist right transcendentalist transcendentalist movement in america will always will also study about it no no need to worry so that's why i say it see if you read bloom you know about the romantic poets you know about the transcendentalist and then you what you know more you know about sigmund freud you know about many many more many more people okay so whatever let's continue after a personal crisis during the late 1960s bloom became deeply interested in ralph waldo emerson sigmund freud and the ancient mystic tradition of gnosticism kavala and hermeticism i don't want to make this videos too long therefore i am creating a next part of this video right now i will make a playlist and you can go through that so no need to worry now here this video ends but the next part of this video starts right now just click on that video and listen to it because it's very important you know the facts really well so just click right now and don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video if you really liked it because that gives me motivation to create much more good and better and nice videos for you so that you can learn more understand more in a specified and in a right manner your education continues so give a thumbs up leave your beautiful comments share with your friends and now click on the next video on the playlist of this video so that you can learn more of about Harold Bloom also don't forget to subscribe now right now click on the next video and keep on studying